Hey everyone, welcome to AVFC News. I'm going to be bringing you the latest transfer news from Aston Villa. And my prediction of what's going to happen in what's coming up to the final week of the January transfer window. For the first time of the season, Villa are unbeaten for four games. Um, although two of those are to a League 2 side, Wickham. I don't think you can take anything away from Villa. Um, getting a win against Crystal Palace, which is their second win all season. As well as a well-fought draw against Leicester. Um, finally, the confidence in the team is good. The fans seem finally to have some hope that we can avoid relegation. Um, I'm sure everyone, though, is hoping Remy Gard can strengthen the squad. Uh, Defence is a big issue. Um, so I'm going to talk about the players Villa have been linked with and those of which I feel actually have a realistic chance of signing for Villa during these final few days of the transfer window. For a while, it seemed possible for a loan move for central defender Lemayne Sane or Sane from Bordeaux. Personally, I think it would have been a great signing. However, Swansea have gone in with an offer to buy for five million, apparently, and um, Bordeaux seem more preferable to a permanent move for Lemayne Sane. It appears that Remy Gard does have some freedom to buy players in this transfer window. So, if they want him enough, I'm sure it could still happen. Although it's not looking likely anymore. However, there is some very positive news on the central defender front as former Man United captain Nemanja Vidic has been released by Inter Milan and is looking for a move to the Premier League, which, um, <laughs> you know, Villa can offer some time in the Premier League for a, a few months or so. Remy Gard has talked about how it is difficult to attract players to Villa, obviously due to their current position and... Um, Things are definitely looking up. Their performance recently uh, has been great. And I think this would be just an incredible move. It would definitely fill the gap left by Ron Vlaar, who left in the summer. Remingard has talked a lot about the disadvantages of not having a preseason with January signings. Um, especially players that aren't uh, haven't played in the Premier League before and they need time to gel with the team. Although Vidic has got a lot of Premier League experience, I think it would just be a great fit. So hopefully this happens, although I have no idea the likelihood of this. So keep a lookout for that. I'll try and update you as soon as I can. I think the main problem with Villa's defence, though, is probably in goal. Um, I think most people lost faith with Guzan like, way back into last season. So um, he got replaced with Shea Given at times, um, and then Shea Given left, and now he's getting replaced with Mark Bunn. I think everyone, including Remy Gard, is just eager to bring in a good goalkeeper. And this guy, whose name I can't pronounce, I'm not even going to attempt it, I'm just going to put it on screen. Villa have been linked with quite a few goalkeepers in the past few weeks, but this seems the most likely now. I would be perfectly happy with this guy. He's, um, I don't know too much about him, you know, he's tall, he's Croatian, He's a goalkeeper. Um, I looked into him. Um, he seems like really good. I'm going to put some stats up on screen. Um, so I just think this guy would be great. He would definitely be like a first choice goalkeeper. There will be none of this swapping between him and Mark Byrne or Guzan. Um, this deal looked pretty much certain to go through for a while. Um, although it's still uncertain. But I just I really hope we can get this guy. I just think this signing could be crucial to Villa's relegation battle. So hopefully we'll see a confirmation of this within the next few days. So the final player I'm going to talk about today is the striker Christian Santos. And um, and I don't know if this is a slightly controversial opinion, but I don't think we need to bring in some prolific goal scorer who's going to, you know, be basically a replacement for Benteke and score loads of goals and save the season. For us, I really do think there is enough talent in this squad. And personally, I'm not a huge fan of Gested, but I think Kozak coming back has really, you know, posed a challenge for him. And he's starting to play better. Um, Jordan Ayew is uh, doing really well. Um, and I think Carlos Heal and Adama Torore, who hopefully will return from injury soon. I think bringing, bringing somebody in will add a new level to our attack. Um... So I think Christian Santos, who revealed on Twitter that his buyout clause is only 230000 for a team that is not in the top four of a league, which um, Aston Villa isn't quite in the top four this season. So if we can tempt him 
to come to Aston Villa, I think this would be a good move. Um, and obviously not too expensive, so everybody wins. So um, that is all for today. I will be bringing you... That is all for today, but I'm going to be bringing you the latest information up until Saturday's clash with West Brom. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at AVFC Declan. And make sure to tell me your predictions of what's going to happen in the remainder of the transfer window in the comments. As well as if you still have any hope that Aston Villa can avoid relegation. 